Welcome back to Oblivion. So soon after the previous session, despite what I said at the beginning of the previous session, largely because I don't feel like working on the other series I've got going on, and I've still got to figure out what to do for a month in, uh, in, uh, Morrowind, if I'm trying to think of. Uh, not that any of that really matters. I can record this whenever I want. But let's get into reading these final books. Surprisingly, the commentaries part four is weightless. Strange. Book three. The tower touches all the mantles of heaven, brother Noviet, and by its apex one can be as he will. More be as he was, yet changed for all else. On that path for those that walk after, this is the third key of Numancia, and the secret of how mortals become makers, now makers back to mortals. The bones of the wheel need their flesh, and that is mankind's heirloom. Oathbreakers beware, for their traitors run through the Nymic paths, runner dogs of prolix gods. The dragon's blood of hidden ascension is six thousand, six thousand years of e ethereal uh, labyrinth, which is arena. Hey, the first game. Which they yet deny is oath-bound. By the book, take this key and pierce the divine shell that encloses the mantle-takers. The skin of gold. Scarab high Arabics. Wow, that was terrible. Woe to the Oathbreakers! Of the skin of gold, the Xarxes Mysterium says, Be fooled not by the forlorn that ride astray on the roadway, for they lost faith, and this losing was caused by the Aedra, who would know no other planets. Whereby the words of Lord Dagon instructs us to destroy these faithless. Eat or bleed dry the gun of forlorn, and gain that small will that led them to the walk the path of Godhead at the first. Spit out or burn to the side that which made them delay. Know them as the Numoli. Every new l limb is paid for by the underknown. See the brother and give not more to the Hydra. Reader, you will sense a shadow choir soon. The room you are in right now will grow eyes and voices. The candle or spell light that you read this by will become gateways for the traitors I have mentioned. Scorn them and fear not. Call them names, call out their base natures. I, the Mankar of Stars, am with you, and I come to take you to my paradise where the tower traitors shall hang on glass racks until they smile with a new revolution. That is your ward against the Numoli. They run blue through the noise and shine only when the earth trembles with the eruption of the newly mantled. Tell them, Go! Gartak and Mnim! God is come! Numi Mora! Num Dele! Mnim! I probably pronounced that completely wrong. And excuse me as I get some uh, tea for that yelling that kind of hurt my throat. Once you walk in the mythic, it surrenders its power to you. Myth is nothing more than the first wants. Unutterable truth. Ponder this while searching for the fourth key. Understood laws of the arc of nature will fall away like heat. First tower dictate. Render the mutant bound where he may do no more harm. As god of the Mundus, alike shall be his progeny, split from the divine sparks. We are eight time aids in our exarchs. Let the home of Padme see us his sole exit. Is that an E or a C? Getting a little more wind issue here. I'm just going to go with C for it. Kaim. Those who know it can reshape the land. Witness the home of the Red King once jungled. He that enters paradise enters his own mother. Ai, Alma Ruma! 
The our beast endeth in all ways. Endeth we seek through all our dawn. All endeth. Falter now and become one with the wayside orphans that feed me. Hollow and I shall adore you from inside. My first daughter ran from the Dragonite Road. Dagonite Road, rather. Her name is Ruma, and I ate her with no bread, and made another which learned. And I love that one, and Blackborn's. Blackborn's. Birds formed her twin behind all time. That entire paragraph made zero sense. None whatsoever. Starlight is your mantle, brother. Wear it to see by, and add its light to paradise. Now let's see if this fourth entry in the series is any stranger than the last. Alright, mysticism. A skill I never use has increased. Book four. May the holder of the fourth key know the heart thereby. The moon dex terrain was once ruled over solely by the tyrant, tyrant Drew Kings, each to their own dominion, and border wars fought between their slave oceans. They were akin to the time totems of old, yet evil and full of mockery and profane powers. No one that lived did so outside the sufferance of the Druze. I give my soul to the Magna Ghi, saith the joyous in paradise, for they created Merunus the Razor in secret, in the very bowels of League, the domain of the upstart who vanishes. Though they came from diverse waters, each gets shared sole purpose, to artifice a prince of good, spinning his likeness in random swath, and imbuing him with oblivion's most precious and scarce asset, hope. Deathless thee, I atone from paradise. Merunus the thief taker, Merunus God's body, Merunus the red arms that went up, Numancia, liberty. Deny not that these days shall come again, my noviates. For as Merunus threw down league and cracked his face, declaring each of the nineteen and nine, and nine oceans free, so shall he crack the serpent crown of the Cyrodiils and make federation. All will change in these days as it was changed in those, for with by the magic words, Numancia, a great rebellion rose up and pulled down the towers of Kaimel Gargiak, and the Templars of the Upstart were slaughtered, and blood fell like dew from the upper wards down to the lowest pits, where the slaves with the maniacal faces took chains and teeth to the jailers. In all hope, was brush fire. Your dawn listens, my lord. Let all the Arbys know itself to be free. Merunus has come. There's no dominion save free will. Suns were riven as your red legions moved from League to the hinterlands of Chill. A legion for each get, and Curry was thrown down, and Jaff was thrown down, and Hormagail was crushed with cold salt and forevermore called whore. And so shall it be again under the time of gates. Under the mires, Malbioche was thrown down, that old city of chains, staked in newborn warmth and set free. Galg and Morgalg were thrown down together in a single night of day, and shall it be again under the time of gates. Nothing but woe for Nern, which has become the pit and seven curses on its drew. The Vermai Nimok! But for it, the Crusades would be as my lord's creation. Get by the gi, and do as thou wilt, of no fetters but your own conscience. Know that your hell is broken, people of the Arabis, and praise the new mancha, which is liberty. Interesting. Uh, not, not any less difficult to follow than the other books, but... I also think I like that voice I used for these three books better than the one I used for the first two. Just a little amateur voice actor self uh, criticism. I 
fix it. So I've read all the books. Is it going to pop up with a quest thing to tell me where everything is? No, I guess not. Hmm. Well, I think I'll sleep for a day, I guess. I did it with the quest log said I needed to study the books further. But I vaguely remember Tarmija saying to come back in a day or so and maybe she'd have something figured out. Whoa. Well, I have no idea where she is now. Oops. Just kind of looks at him again. Surely it isn't expecting me to actually figure out where the thing is myself. Because those things were hard enough to follow just reading them. Ah, uh, oblivion loot. Never ceases to disappoint. Maybe I have to find Tarnija myself. Air hammer, that's useful. I'm sorry, fellow magister, but I don't have time to talk right now. My studies keep me very busy, as you can well imagine. So busy that you're just wandering around, right? Okay. Now, let's see, where does she usually hang around? The entrance, I believe, entrance to the uh, Mage's College. Yeah, there's also this wooden door. Hmm, I should double check this. Oh yeah, they're all worth something, a fair amount of money, and since they're not considered stolen because I'm a guild member, I can make myself a little bit of money. Good to see you. Oh, the sun, it comes. Oh, well, I can level up uh, Restoration, at least. No, but that's right, there is no back entrance to here. What is this area? Hello, wizard. Good to see you. Did you hear the Necromancers attack the room? You have your task. Find Delmar and ask for his help. The Major's Guild is made. Hmm. You shall have a true major... I'm just wondering right now to see, or wondering now if that, uh, these people would know where Tarmija is. I have potions and everything you need to make your own. What will it be? This position of 100, holy dog shit. Let's play it safe though and only go with 65% selling value. Nah, there's nothing I can really sell anyway. So all these potions I've got are fairly useful. But again, damage agility, nah. Can't do that. Hmm, yeah, disposition 100, let's not let you sell anything at a reasonable price. Let's drop it to 60 then, huh? Is that good enough? That's just not reasonable. It's very reasonable. There we go. Don't suppose she'd have no. Tell your friends about me. Worth a shot, I guess. Please visit me again anytime. I'm glad to help. Gifts address on my regards. Orrery. Okay. Is everything all right? You look a bit ill. Um, I'm actually in a really bad way. Thanks for noticing. Man, I really look terrible. <laughs> uh, just gonna find all this various bits and pieces and crap and whatnot to get rid of the vampirism. Hmm, well that's strange. This stuff's considered a lot of this stuff is considered stealing despite you know me being in the uh, guild. However, I should I should see. I've only got one pick. Yeah. Didn't expect it to go any other way. Of course the upper level's locked off. Don't want to get in trouble with the guild. Are you not feeling well? Very, very badly. I am feeling. Welcome to the Caronasium. Can I help you? I suppose I can work on that staff quest a bit, since I incidentally ran into the same guy I need to look for. Ah, yes. This is a big step for you, friend, whether you know it or not. Now you'll need to decide what sort of staff you're looking for. Something that fits you and your abilities. Shall we begin? 
uh, slightly. Enchanting staves can be a tricky business. Only certain spells will be truly useful to you, so I'll narrow it down some. Let's start with the school. Which appeals most to you? Destruction, Destruction. illusion, or mysticism? Very well. You have three choices for what type of damage you'd like it to do. Fire, Fire. frost, or shock. You'll have a staff capable of creating fireballs. If that's what you want, I'll get started right away. Otherwise, we can start over. That's precisely what I want. Right. I'll get to work. You come see me tomorrow, and I'll have your staff ready. All right, then. Hail. Martina Floria, Master Enchanter for the Mages Guild. Welcome to the Cairo Nazi. Enchanting, isn't it? Ha, 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 I see what you did there. Good day. Now what I really need is that <laughs> damn Argonian. I'm having a look around the uh, guild that I chose to, uh, Join, it certainly isn't a bad thing. I'll avoid talking to the battle mages since. Is everything alright? You look a bit ill. No, I've still got that uh, whole bounty thing Reynolds to deal with. Viennes. I'm the practice room proctor. No horseplay or foolishness. This is for serious exercises. I don't know what Archmage Traven has. I like to walk. You can walk for hours in the city. Always something to look at, someone to talk to. So I've heard. Good day. Ugh. Okay, watchtower don't need to go there. Mage quarters. I'm still, I'm definitely still going with the uh, idea of I need to find her. And speak with her, because I do still. Ah. Whoops. I do still remember her saying at the end of the previous session to find her after a day. Uh. Archives. I vaguely remember her mentioning the archives, and ah, yes, the there you are. What else can I help you with? Darmina, this is my mystic archives. Keep it neat, keep it quiet. No eating in the stacks. I'm here to speak with you about the Mythic Dawn. I turned up copies of the first two volumes from my colleagues, and I spent a little time rereading them. Mankar Cameron certainly is a fascinating writer. Undoubtedly insane, but fascinating. Ah, but more to the point. It appears to me that the first words of each paragraph may be significant. A message may be hidden there. I'll continue to study the problem. Come by tomorrow if you like. I may think of something else. Interesting. The first words of each paragraph are the key. I'm sure of it. Well, I shouldn't keep you. Goodbye. Hmm.
or keys? The books are the keys. I'm guessing the books are the keys. It's somewhere near the sea, possibly, if I'm getting this right. Wait, did I just... Come slow and bring four keys, the books are the keys. Palace hut or cave? Palace Hut Cave. Gospel. Garden. Wait a minute, the first word of each paragraph? Oh, that is... Oh. That's annoying. Because she specifically said, when during the spoken dialogue, first words of each paragraph, and now it's only word singular? Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go through it again. I don't have any paper handy. So, be back in a minute. 